welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And I am joined by a guest. Oh. This is scary and loud for you. No, I love this it. Is, this is how loud it is. <laughs> this is how loud it is. Um, this is Amy from Amy Jane Smith. Um, she has a wonderful booktube channel. I'll link it below. You should definitely go and check it out. We're also going to be filming a video. Do I disclose the video we're filming on there? Is it a surprise? Oh, no. oh I don't know. When will I? Disclose it. What the heck? Disclose it. We're gonna be filming. <laughs> it's like gonna be a really big announcement. <laughs> we're gonna be just. We're gonna be filming a video with Zoella. No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna be Imagine. filming the unpopular uh, book opinions, opinions tag, tag. Um, on Amy's yeah. channel as well. So you should definitely go along and check that. But today we are filming a bookish battle. Now this video came from. <laughs> The channel I read books in nightclubs. Johnny name? Vickers, whose name I always knew, um, <laughs> he filmed it uh, on there with his pal. And I was like watching it. I was thinking, me and Amy have got to film a um, a collab. We should definitely film this. So I've got it six books battling against each other. We have to decide between us who is going to win. If we can't decide, it's decide decide it's a draw. So we've got six books, six categories. We're going to get straight into it with the fighter and this is a book most likely to win in a fight i'll let you go first so what i think would win in a fight is naked lunch by Ooh. william burroughs Ooh. do you know it no i've never even heard of it oh it's horrible it's a really really horrible book and it's just like humanity at its lowest it's really grotesque imagery there's a lot of drugs there's like oh i'm gonna put a needle in your eyeball like horrible 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 like oh in your eyelids oh god grim but it's I just think it's so grim that if I met any character at all from this book in an alleyway, I would be like shitting myself basically. And oh God. it's relentless to read as well. It just keeps going and it's really hard to make sense of. So you'd have that confusion and it would just wear you down and it would beat you. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I've gone for a really different sort of like. Oh, well, you've gone the... for a different. Yeah, so I've gone for the tidal zone by Sarah Moss. Okay. In that it's sort of like would beat you in a fight because they're just survivors, those guys. Oh, yeah. So I've gone for like a survival side of things. Like, I've got just gonna attack. <laughs> you've gone for <laughs> injection in the eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've gone for like a survival side of things. So the title zone is a video, uh, it's a video. There is a video <laughs> that I've done a review on, which I absolutely love. It's a book by Sarah Moss that I've read recently. It is about a girl who, well, it's about many things, but um, the main thread throughout is that this, this girl who drops down dead, uh, basically mm -hmm. at school and they can't work out what's wrong with her and it's about survival and like her family coming to terms with the fact that she could maybe die at any time and them, su them surviving and just day to day living and things like that. Sounds boring, oh, bloody sounds best book I've read this year, yeah, like me easily. Me so I went for that, you I went for, for Naked Lunch. What do you think? Fights. Well, in terms of actual fighting, I think your book would win. I don't know how much violence there is in it, but I think it is like brutal and so grim, so maybe. But I get what you mean with the tidal zone, and I love the kind of survival and illness, and I yeah, I completely get that. But if it's a battle, I think I think boom! I think battling. Yeah. I don't. I can't. There was. I as far as I remember, there was no one stabbing anyone else in the eye in the tidal I, zone. I don't think. And so. I think in terms I feel like of I'll fighting. Be it. Yeah. We'll we'll let that one win. All right. All right. That's the only one I'm gonna let that win. From now on, it's like hardcore. Yeah. Right. Battle number two is, and I do not have the book for this with me. I didn't have the book with the time design either. Um, is The Tear Jerker. What is the book that made you cry the most? So I'll start with this. And um, my book oh. is Ethel and Ernest by, God, what's his name? Raymond Briggs. Raymond Briggs. And it is a graphic novel. Oh my God, it was so sad. It's a graphic novel about um, Raymond Briggs. It's a non-fiction, real life. Um, Raymond Briggs's parents and their lives they met um, when his mother was working in service and her, his dad was cycling past and their entire lives from like then moments like 1930s I think they met all the way up until when they both die Sh spoiler they do both die um, and yeah and like it's a very quiet sort of like there's not much big action happening in it like there's a lot of like background things that's going on with um, really tender, government and stuff it, she's really it. tender and then I knew they were going to die, but it really like punched me in the stomach. And there's just this whole thing where he has to go and like identify the body and things like that. And oh, I was like, uh, 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 oh, like God. that's all I'm crying. Da I had to hug David. Like, oh, oh. God, David, let's just die together. Oh, I was shit. so it was it was bad. I've really I've never cried so much reading. I mean, I was probably on the period, but <laughs> I, I've never cried so much oh, than that book. 
Good luck for you. Oh! <laughs> a challenge, round two. I've, cho- oh, Christ. I've chosen Wonder by RJ Play Show, which people might not think is like tearjerker books. It is so uplifting and beautiful. Yeah. But I cried more in this book than I have any other. And like, I think about three times I cried, and it was either because it was sad or it was just really lovely. And I was like, I will give you yeah. that. I'm here for you. I love yeah. you. But where you did, what was your crying face? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. That. Tongues coming <laughs> Yeah, down. there was all Whereas mine was a bit more like nothing compares to you, but you were like, Oh, understated, lovely. Just like a little silent... Scarlet O'Hara. A little silent tear every couple of moments, which was I really did, enjoyable. David and I both wrote that, yeah. and we both cried. David, I cried happy tears. I yeah. can't, there's no, we can't really talk about happy tears for other yeah. than spoilers and like sad tears for the spoilers, yeah. but I cried both types of tears in there. Oh, so I cried one type of tear. I think this is like a lovely book, but I wouldn't say go for it as a like... Tear jerk, like you sit down to watch a film, yeah. it's gonna make you cry. And I don't Cleanse think you know, you. it feels like reducing Ethel and Ernest to say that's what that is, but at the same time, the end point is a ugly crying moment, so I think maybe that does good. I, d- I, v- I really did. I mean, I don't want that, that face that I've yeah. just done twice on this video <laughs> to go to waste. I really would yeah, like to win that I one. I think you have to. Success! Success! <laughs> okay, the oh, next one is the movie star. Which book has the best movie adaptation? So, Amy, you, you may start. You've even bought the film with you. Well, I couldn't find the book, right? I think I might have even given it to Bloody love this film. We, we, didn't know, we didn't know each other's answers before this yeah. as well, so this is all real. I fucking love that film. I just think, like, I read the book as a teenager, which maybe was an optimum reason age for it, but I love yeah. the book. But this film, I just think is, like, yeah. modern classic, and it's just joyous, and the soundtrack is banging, and, like, Hugh Grant and Queen Firth, and just... Yeah. I just I think love it. it's great. I, I really, I really love that film, and I love the books as well. And I think, I think you might be right. I think the the, the film is better than the books. Like, yeah, I don't know. It just, oh, I really, really love it, and it's got yeah. Christmas in it. So Christmas yeah, is exactly. in the for me. What's so yours? I picked The Help um, oh by. Oh my god! I really should have looked into who these is people Catherine were. Stockett? Catherine Stockett. Catherine Stockett. Oh my god! You're oh, here. Oh, you haven't read it. Is, it. So it's about um, a woman who is a journalist in the 1950s America when they have um, black slaves working for them, um, and she goes. She decides to interview these people that are called the Help within families, and um, the book. It's okay, but the film is just brilliant, and I feel like the film fills in bits that the book left out. Um, I don't know, like, it, and it's got Emma Stone in it, and it's just brilliant. But I really think Bridget Jones would win that one. Yeah, I mean, this like is the got, help is brilliant, but Bridget Jones is just. I haven't awesome. read that. I haven't watched it, but this has got Renee Zellweger, Maya Minter, Celine Dion in Christmas pajamas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I just think what that for me, like, I mm, just can't like, it, like Bridget Jones's mum is like one of the best characters yeah. of all time in Andrew every Rothman. book. Yeah. Mm. But Bridget mm. Jones's mum, I yeah, that's got to win. win well done, yes. well done. Mm. Okay, the next book is The Life Changer, and I do have a book for this, um, and this is the book that changed your life the most. So that book for me is Americana by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie. So I think maybe I've lived a little bit of a naive life up until now. On reading this book, it really opened my eyes to some things that happen in terms of immigration, in terms of people moving from one country to another, and have, since having read this, this is the best book I read last year, like one of my favourite books of all time. I just haven't been able to stop thinking about it ever. I think about it all the time. Really? Yeah. I, if I ever glance it, if I ever see her name, I think about this book. It like I just think about it all the time, and it really did change my life. It like answered questions that I had like about race that I didn't even know I had. Oh blimey! I love this. I you, thought you were gonna choose Harry Potter. Oh no! I've really tried to. I said, am I to about the Harry, Harry Potter? Potter in no, this video? you don't have to fight Harry Potter. Harry Potter is life changing, but I'm not. I can't Harry Potter it all the time. Oh, this is actually like a good these really changed the way that I look at things and like about like yeah. I was I think I lived quite naively before thinking about things like about immigration that I didn't know. So that's my choice. You've read this too, have you? Yeah, I did read. Did it. you enjoy it? I did. Re- I think it was a four star rather than a five star yeah. for me, which made me feel a bit that um, like everyone loved it so much. But I did think it was beautiful. And yeah, yeah. she's like explored and she's just. I know. I want to read it again, or like I'm gonna reread it again, definitely yeah. at some point. So yeah, I, that's that. Like, what's yours? So I've gone for a non-fiction book, Ooh. and it for me was like a proper game changer. It's called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers, which I think is such a cringe title. It makes you feel oh bloody self-help and like yeah. a bit trite and like, I mean, oh really? Yeah. Oh. Um, but 
this is like gonna get all deep and meaningful now okay. in my battle um, tactics. But basically, I read this, and I used to have really low confidence mm. and like anxiety issues and that. And then I read this at the same time as my best friend. We talked about it, did the exercises, and then it helped like build me up and be able to cope with oh things my in life God. and like just be more positive <laughs> and just be more positive and like happier. So when when that question was came up and what you sent me, I was like, oh shit, like. No, that's it, definitely it. it. I mean, I don't. But I've thrown that on the book in a disgustingly oh, no, disrespectful. I've really thrown it. it on the floor in a disgustingly a disrespectful DJ. way. Oh. I didn't mean to do it, but in terms of like personal yeah. development, I think that definitely wins. Because I was trying to think of fiction, but there wasn't anything that had really been that much of a game changer. Like I'd learned things, whereas with this, it did feel like I read it and then I worked yeah. through it. That wins. And it helped. Well me. done. Well so done. I win. <laughs> It's all very. Oh, like, it's getting a bit like. I'll have to do something. Oh, I'll have to pull, out, pull something out the bag right. for the last uh, two. Right, it's quite okay. Even, though, isn't it? I'm not keeping track. No, you do. It's 4 2. 4 2 to it. you, yeah. Oh, you're going to kick me out in a minute. 4 2 to you. Hold on, is it? Or is it. For... Who won know. the first one? You won the first one. Yeah. I won Tear Jerker. You won the movie star. You've won the life. It's 3 1 to you. Oh! We're going to get through this. We we'll we'll keep going. It. Right. Keep going. The next one is the future classic. Which book do you think will be considered a classic in the future? You go first. Well, I don't know if it will, but I hope it will, and I've chosen oh. the title of Sarah Morris. I should have given it to you before. Um, I just think the writing is so remarkable and incredible that I can't... I just think it has to be a... a cla like, to look back on this book, I don't know, maybe it's too much of its time, but I just think the writing is something else. No, I really love it. So, um, yeah. I, I ever thought that would wonder, but yeah, I considered wonder. I actually I went for a YA book, which is really unusual because I don't actually read much YA. Um, and I went for the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen oh, Chbosky. Okay. Have you read that? No, I haven't. So that's a book about a a young lad who is not got many friends and things like that at school, and he you also spoilers um, find out that he's suffered at the hands of sexual abuse from his aunt when he was younger oh um, but she was very very kind and nice to him so he really struggles to deal with the fact that she was actually not kind to him um, and he meets friends and he gets involved in this group of friends that he's never had friends before and yeah it's just like really for a YA book that I don't like it's really lovely and like it's really like coming of age book and just love like it's just got everything in there and I think some people already would consider it a bit of a, a modern, like a, yeah. a, a kids, like a, a YA classic. So I think it's sort of halfway there already. But that was when when I thought of that question, that was the one I came up with. But I do want the title zone to win at some point. <laughs> yeah, and but it, it is, wasn't allowed to win the first one. So I do feel like that. This is such brilliance, but I feel like with with that, that yeah, people already kind of really. I think it's it, halfway it there, and it's got that popular broad appeal. It doesn't like I don't know. The classics we read now, how were they received at the time? I don't know. I don't know if you answered that question, but maybe that's more likely yeah. to I be one. I haven't even read it. I haven't got it here. Well, I think but... it's in storage. Otherwise, I'm lending to you. But you should definitely yeah, read no, it. I should read it. It's yeah, set at Christmas think. as well. So like anything oh, that's set at Christmas, I'm just taking it. That's set at Christmas as well, though. On the run yeah. up to Christmas, it isn't just it? doesn't feel very like. Just everything like, Christmas. Oh, Christmassy. sad Christmas. That's sad. Or maybe I'll win that one then. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Four, two. Yeah. So this is the... Oh, so Amy either wins or... I can't win at this point. Um, Amy's going to win with this last one or we're going to draw it. And if we draw it, I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out, isn't it? Yeah. Well, anyway. Well, we'll I haven't say. even decided yeah. So the last one is The Favourite. So what is your favourite book? Now, I've got two here because I've got three favourite books in the Surely world. you've chosen Harry Potter. <laughs> Surely. I've, oh no, is it me to go first? Yeah. Yeah, you go. So I picked Wuthering Heights, one of my favourite books ever. But Harry Potter, <laughs> woo! Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'll get rid of Wuthering Heights because this is the real favourite. So Harry Potter, obviously, is my series of all time. I've really held back with not having Harry Potter for everything. Harry yeah. Potter, uh, number one for the first yeah. one. Uh, but Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is my all-time favourite book. So you have read all the Harry Potters, haven't you? Oh, like I wondered if this would come up today. How many have you read? Any? I've read the first one when I was a child and I really oh, enjoyed Amy, it. You need to get back into and it. I know, I keep thinking this, but now I'm like, am I too late? Like, no, you're never too late. You're never too late. You're never <laughs> too late. All right, maybe I should do it then. So Harry Potter for me is like my actual childhood and like just turning me into the person I am today. I love Harry Potter. Mm. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is my favourite. It's got in here a bit of old good 
healthy, competitive goblet of fireness going on. It's got some really good like character development. You really get to start knowing people, and it's the turn in the series I think where things become a bit more like it's not it's not a children's book anymore. And this is when I was like, oh shit, it's getting real in here. So Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is my all time favourite book. If you haven't read it, you should. But what's your all time oh, favourite book? I I don't think I can fight that right. I struggle with this because this was my favourite book, but some books might have beaten it. So already I'm kind of like saying I'm out. But it's The Accidental by Ali Smith, I think. And I read this at uni when I was about 19 or 20 and it just kind of blew me away and I've never read a novel like it. It's so playfully written um, that it's one of those that it kind of doesn't really matter what it's about. It's just really, I don't know, inventive and innovative and, and beautiful and says a lot and I just yeah it kind of opened my eyes to what literature could be yeah and that it just felt like yeah this is the book for me at the time I was reading it like perfect but like I say there's books that I've read since that maybe I love more but it's been a while now yeah. since I've read it I've got that and I do um, I haven't read any Ali Smith which is I think disgusting. this is a good starting point oh really I've yeah. got that I've got quite a few of hers I've been sort of collecting yeah. them from charity shops and buying them and things yeah. like that I really do need to get around to reading them um, that's weird, isn't it? That I haven't read your book and you haven't read my yeah. book. Yeah, but as well, like, how could I possibly argue with Harry Potter? Like, I know I haven't read it all, but I do know that, you know, it's adored. And how much it's influential. <laughs> you love it. You I love do. It, so it is. I don't my... love this as much as you love. Oh really? Like, yeah. Oh well, then it wins. It in wins. terms of favoritism, <laughs> so it was an overall <laughs> draw. Wow, oh, it's a cop out of three. But Equality and joy. Oh, yeah. Lovely. That's good. So yeah, that was it. That was our book battle. Um, comment below if you... I feel like I'm really like taking a laze back in this chair. Comment below if you've got any comments about the books that we've been chatting about. Go and check out Amy's channel. Go and subscribe. She's wonderful. You've just seen her. She's wonderful. And I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video.